would like to see um, for the parents is that um, a BCC funding for the parents who are working full time, you know, that extra little bit um, really helps parents out. You know, that they just, it makes, I, I know of a, of a, um, a mum and um, she's a three year old with me at the moment. She's twin boys who, not, not quite two yet, but she was due to go back to work in January, but she, she had to put it off. She's a nurse and she's lucky enough she can do that. She, she deferred it for until September, but just wasn't worth a while going back to work. And she said once she gets the ECC funding for the, the three of them, you know, then she'd be in a position where she can go back to work and, you know, actually. So she's work. essentially taking unpaid leave then yeah. until the ECC program yeah. kicks in. Make it worth her while going yeah. back to work, really, yeah. Um, and I know, like, that, where does the money come from and that? But, um, you know, it's, it's great to see parents getting that reduction in their fees, you know, mm -hmm. way, making it worth their, work, worth their while going back to work. Especially for anyone who's more than one child. Yeah. And you were saying earlier at the start there that the, the generally don't come to you till they're 11 months, 12 mm -hmm. months. So you're kind of saying that parents seem to want to stay at home for the year anyway. I think they want to stay at home. I don't even think that's a financial thing. I think it's just, I think they want to stay at home. Yeah. You know, they're so tiny, like, mm -hmm. you know, and it's, it's, oh, look, it's all precious. But I don't really think children under a year benefit terribly from being in a crash setting. That's my own views on that. And why do you think that? Um, I just think that they should be at home with their mother, okay. you know, that way, and that's it, or mm -hmm. with a grandparent if they are in that position, um, um, because, yeah, they're just so small, you know, the way I just, um, you know, if a parent comes to me, or if a family comes to me with a baby and they say, oh, they want to get there, or even up to the age of 18 months, 20 months even, you know, I think that's one-to-one -one is, is definitely. So one-to-one -one with the mom or whoever. Or the, the grandparent, or like, I've had. Families come up and they say, oh, like we've our, our, our parents are minding, but we're really anxious to get them into a crash, you know, right. to get the stimulation or okay. whatever. And I would say, yeah, come back when they're two. Yeah. By the way, why, why would you do that? Apart from yeah. financial costs, but like, I didn't have that. Yeah. You know, when I was, I stayed at home with my mother and I turned out okay. I think yeah. people are just, you know, a bit, feel they're missing out. And, you know, if you bring your child out to the shops and to the bank and do all those things, you know, or the grandparents do, they're going to be perfect. Mm. They'll be in front of the television, they won't. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's yeah. no... We're only trying to replicate in rainbow what parents would be doing at home. Right. You know, with the, you know, the, you know even the home corner and all the things that we do, like... Mm. So we're just trying to replicate what they would be doing if they're at home, really, and out to the park and so we like the playground. And that's really all it is. So then, I suppose, in terms of if there was a, a change in policy or initiative, you're kind of saying something to allow parents to stay home until definitely one, definitely one, yeah, possibly yeah. eighteen months. Eighteen months, I'd say the employers would love that, wouldn't they? <laughs> but there is the the first five, the strategy. Um, they're saying by twenty twenty eight, um, parents would be able to stay home. They'd be paid for the first year. They're paid so for the first year. Yeah. yeah, well, definitely the first year. Mm. Like I mean, they're just it's, they're so tiny. They need so much sleep and. You know, even bottle feeding. Mm. You know, it's it's very hard for freshers to I'm, sh I'm sure to uh, have the one to three ratio and you know to maintain quality care in that mm. as well. But definitely, I mean, there should be maternity leave for a year. I'm, I'm surprised it hasn't come in yet. Mm. Not too shocked actually. Yeah. You know, over the last few years, I kept thinking well, maternity leave for a year, but still nothing yet. No. So then, for the children between one and they start ECC, you're happy enough with, say, for example, if there was maternity leave up to eighteen months. You know, children between 18 months, ECCE, everything's going fine, you're happy enough with that. Yeah, I mean, I think the, the funding, um, it would be great to see it from you know, the start in Rainbow or in, in Fresh, you know, that way that the the subsidy of, you know, 2,450 a year. Is, so kind of seeing this from maternity leave yeah. and then Up into to, to school. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I mean, that would just be, I said, for the, for the parents to help out with making it worth their while, I suppose. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm not sure I said, like, I know a lot of creches would have a lot of overheads, they're paying huge rents and stuff like that, and they do have to charge. As far as I know, our prices are still cheaper than a lot of other creches, and okay. I say that's because we can do it. And, yeah. You know, I'm in a position I can, and then I'm also then in a position that I can pay my staff, you know, an awful lot better than mm -hmm. what I hear that they get from other creches. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. I understand. Yeah. But I said, that's all, it's all money, and I know not everybody can do that, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then the last one, is there anything else that you consider relevant to this research? Um, so about current policy and practice for the under threes that we haven't talked about that we don't. Yeah, I don't think so. I did think about it. I don't think so. I said just really I'd be um you know, 
I suppose, think it's so important that the staff, before they start working at Fresh, have had good training before they get their qualification. That would be my... So, on um, like placement training, placement. so on practical Yeah, I know there training. is placement. I mean, yeah. I do know there is. I just don't think there's enough. It's like, um, kind of the way I think nursing has changed even slightly. I think it's just, you know, you need to be in doing it with a trained person, a suitable trained person. Um, and then getting the knowledge, obviously, in your course as well, you know, that they're kind of backing each other up. Backing each other up but, um, so yeah. the staff that trained then, um, when the ECCE came in, they went back and did level five and mm. six. They did it in the evening, did yeah. they? So yeah. they didn't have that no. placement, but they, they were, were obviously working yeah, here. Yeah, they were here, and that's it. Yeah. They still had like 10 more years experience yeah. in the work in Rainbow. That they went back and they did their their training as well and you know that it makes more sense to you as well when you're working with yeah. children and you have the knowledge as well yeah you know, it all makes sense and you know when you're dealing with say a child maybe a child with, with additional needs or just a difficult child mm -hmm. like you know you have so much experience how to deal with this child and what you've been told in college is all great and it is absolutely true but it's actually seeing how it works mm -hmm. and that doesn't always work for the, you know every child mm -hmm. and stuff like that you know it is just that's definitely the knowledge and the experiences. So then the full time training courses, as far as I know, say they'd have maybe two days a week. Do they have two days? Where a they week? are out in placement. Yeah. Like do you think that's enough then or do you think it needs to be well, more? Maybe of a block? It is. I suppose just um I suppose I don't take on unqualified staff, but mm. what I'm hearing just from other fresh is that girls come out of college, they go into fresh, they realise that this is absolutely not what they want to do and they leave it. Right. So why is that happening? You know, yeah. why is that happening if they've been two days a week in a fresh? Mm. You know, have they been put in, in, in maybe Bernardo's fresh that's, you know, is properly run and then they've gone and worked in, in a fresh that's, you know, understaffed. I don't know what's happening, but this is what I'm hearing all the time, mm. that this girl's going in and this changeover and a new girl I took on there, you know, was about to leave um, childcare um, because she was so disillusioned by it. You know, the way she said the fresh that she's in, a fairly big crash, there would have been maybe 15, 20 staff in it. And um, she said there could have been four or five staff missing a day. But, the, you know, they just kind of just pure apathy, or else they were off at interviews. She said there were just, there could be four girls at an interview in one day, she said. And then nobody covered, and she was left with, mm. you know, to pick up the pieces. And she's a very diligent person in that. So it's it can be very disillusioning for, mm. for girls. If they're, so maybe it's the, the crash that falls, I don't know. Yeah. It's not the training, I don't know. Mm. So basically what I'm hearing from you then is that experience is really, really crucial. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's my, in my experience. Experience. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But um, saying that, I said I have a new girl who I did take on. Um, she was level, she level six and then um, she did her training, you know, with her course. She did um, her level, level six and um, she came to me um, with very little experience, but I put her in a room with you know, very experienced person. So she still is to me inexperienced mm. and she's with me six months, you know that mm. way? Um, and even before we took her on, I took her on the month before I needed her because I wanted to train her in and that. But still, I said, she's in with um, a level eight staff and a very experienced staff member and she's brilliant. But, you know, I still would consider her to be very inexperienced. Mm. You know, she will be for many years, mm. even though she's that's been in every day for six months. But I think it takes a long time. Mm. Um, but she's very happy and she likes her job and yeah. I'm just trying to think of it then, the ECCE age group, you have three rooms, mm -hmm. what are the staff, what are the qualifications of the staff there? So um, level 7, 8, 9 and 8 and then this girl level 6 as well is in with one of them, yeah. Okay. yeah so it's, yeah. All right, then. anything else? That's that's it. Yeah, I think that's it, yeah. that's me. Thank you very much. I hope that was kind of where it worked.